Julian, Rob, you can see, still see the orange paint marked by from the investigation here yesterday. And today, family and friends tell me this here, the scene just around the corner from Haji's home, is symbolic of immense heartbreak. This eight-year-old boy gets off his school bus Monday, but never makes it home. My aunt was just crying. And at that time, the ambulance and everything already had left. Haji Mohammed's family says he was with his sister and brother near 22nd and Sprague when he ran in front of the bus. Their father was across the street, loved ones watching in horror. I ran outside and all I saw was he was, he was laying there in the, on the road. Heartbreak bringing this neighborhood together. Dozens of people visiting the family's home to show support and praying Tuesday afternoon at the cemetery as Haji is laid to rest. With the family being here and her friends being here, that just like meant a lot, especially when the school counselors, the superintendent, and school officials um, came. The Springville Elementary second grader leaves behind parents and eight siblings. His laughter and his smiling. A young boy remembered for his love for life. He's funny and He's kind of like the best cousin I ever had. Family now asking everyone to not be so quick to judge the situation. It just it has something to do with being a human being and having a heart. That's all it takes, having a heart. And reps with Omaha Public Schools told me grief counselors rode on the same bus route to help students this morning and again, again this afternoon. The district is also sending home letters with tips to find support. Reporting live near 22nd and Sprague, Chin Dong, KETV News Watch 7.